Women's Video Revolution. I'm Rachel Dunn from Girl Director and joining me today is the beautiful Kerry Chinner from Inner Essence. Hi, great to be here Rachel. Thank you, excited to have you. And Kerry, I wanted to invite Kerry onto the show because she's been working with us behind the scenes for about a year and a half now and I wanted to invite her because the transformation has been massive on camera and just and what she does with this work with video is so, so inspirational. And I wanted her to come on and, and share a bit about her story so that you might be able to see something for yourself and also be inspired with the things that she's up to. So Kerry, how did, you know, what, tell me a little bit about the last year and a half for you. Wow, where do I start? <laughs> it's been a journey to the depths of despair and to the most incredible heights and I think I came onto this journey actually not really knowing any, anything about video and even not even being sure that I actually wanted to make video but what I did know is that when I saw your promo and your ads something spoke to me inside that went this is the next step for me in my business and for me personally in order to get myself more out there and to have a much bigger profile. So it was, um, the video aspect of it was incredibly challenging, but um, yeah, <laughs> we got there. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a little bit about your business and so what were you doing before? Okay, so I'm a holistic therapist and shamanic practitioner, soul coach and mentor. Mm -hmm. And for the past about 20 years, I've been focusing mainly on um, somatic body work and healing through massage and body work and energy work. And I've devoted the past 18 to 20 years to really exploring you know, many different kinds of healing modalities on a holistic level. Mm. And I really, in the last, oh, since two, 2009, really focused in on the shamanic healing element. And I've particularly loved that. And mm. back then it was something that was quite uh, new. Mm -hmm. And so my business slowed down a little bit as I made that transition from the sort of <coughs> mainstream modalities to something that wasn't quite so known. Mm. And yeah, so, and of course, I then got on to Google and <laughs> got a little bit more computer savvy. So I, I knew that the old ways of working in my business that had worked for the past 15, you know, 14 years, just it wasn't cutting it anymore. Mm. So this was an obvious next step, albeit a frightening one. What I love about what you're doing is it really helps to put an image and a vision and a feeling to what you're doing in your business. Because when we started working together and you'd say, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what I, what I should do, what I should create, because it's hard to put into words. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. And, and as we started working together more and more, it's really been a beautiful process to just see what you do and put music to the things that you do mm -hmm. and to also bring an energy visually to what you do so that people get it. Mm -hmm. And those, cli those clients that actually are attracted to that come to you because of the vision and the video and the music that you've got that tell the story. Beautiful, and I think that's very much in very much in alignment with the with the philosophy of the work that I now do. I originally trained as a, a social worker, so I have a very mainstream qualification in terms of my therapeutic um, capacity. And moving into a much more energetic realm, you know, there was that that um, difficulty in actually. How do I name it? How do I share with people this is what it is that I do? And video has been an incredible um, format for me to speak on those higher levels by touching into people's senses, by 
activating sense in the heart or a feeling sense or mm -hmm. something visually stirs a memory or a longing or a desire. And yeah, I think that we're heading much more into that way of, of knowing that we're not just interacting in our world through our mind and our emotions, but through all our other senses. So did you tell me you deferred from uni or something because you were going to do video for a year and then you didn't want to yeah. be on camera and so you were running a mile from camera? That, <laughs> yes, that is so true. This is how deep my fear ran of being exposed in my vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And so when I was a social work student doing my degree, um, I think it was about in our third year, we were told that a lot of our, our training would be in being videoed, uh, counselling and practising via video and getting feedback. Um, I promptly deferred. I took a year off. And I ran and back out to the yeah, and I ran back out to the outback where I was far away, and I did um, an amazing job there that I had loved a couple of years earlier. But yeah, that's how terrified I was. Like if somebody was looking at this right now and thinking, oh my god, I couldn't ever get on camera and I'm scared and all those things you were feeling, like what what advice would you give somebody? Well, first I want to say that if I could do it, then anyone can because you'll remember the very first time that I came and worked with you and you uh, shot footage of me with a camera uh, rather than an iPhone and it's not quite as forgiving <laughs> as an iPhone and I just burst into tears. I said that that person there does not reflect who I feel or know myself to be and that was a huge thing for me to get my head around that you know as part of the aging process and part of all of that stuff that was it was confronting and um, yeah so I what really helped me push through that was just to first of all it was who you and Michael were being who you are that you, that you hold such a space of non-judgment and you really normalized everything about what I was going through and what I was feeling, that I was not alone. And so you created the safe space for me to take a risk and to feel what was coming up for me around that. So I could just move it and not stay caught in it. So I, I say that to be uh, in action to be making a, a video, even if it's not of any great content, but just to practice seeing yourself. And it's really funny now, <laughs> excuse me, it's really funny <clears throat> that now when I replay my videos, when I'm having to edit them, I can see good in them. I can see what I like and I actually have a sense of myself um, in a way that I've never had before. Wow. Yeah, it was, it's been profound. Like, where's the next, you know, 12 months going for Kerry Chinna and in her essence? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this amazing? For someone who is more than happy to be sort of like the two I see in my own business, you know, just to be behind the scenes and to, to work very quietly and do an amazing job, very quietly doing what I love, I now have... Um, some pretty big speaking engagements, public speaking engagements, and public speaking invitations, mm -hmm. and of course my online program mm -hmm. that people can do, my three month online healing and mentoring program. And I love your title, Own Your Edge. Own I mean, Your isn't Edge. That cool? I mean, Own Your Edge. Own you know? Your Edge. It's all it's about awesome. no longer playing safe, it's about actually owning your uniqueness and and claiming what is rightfully and individually yours and taking it with both hands and living it. I also love the whole rock star and the shamanic, mm -hmm. you know, they go so well together mm -hmm. and you know, you don't have to, like being a rock star isn't about having an instrument, you don't need an instrument to be a rock star. To be a rock star, I mean what would you say to be a rock star would mean? To be a rock star for me, in your business, in yeah, your business. is someone who's fearless, um, someone who owns their individuality, someone who knows who they are and is unstoppable, someone who is so passionate and in love with their creative 
juices that <laughs> they just want to create. Yeah. One thing that I love that Carrie did, she's done a five day video series and you'll find it, it's really, it's got some great things in there. One thing I loved, mm -hmm. and this was my favorite exercise, one of my favorite exercises I've seen you do, is with a, a stone having that fear and then blowing it into the stone like can you explain that a little bit yeah. more because that is just such a powerful thing so yes yeah it's a great it's a great exercise it's just um to first of all become aware of whatever contraction or emotion that you're caught in so if there's fear or anxiety or nervousness you just want to notice where in your body that is and carry a little stone um, one I had prepared earlier actually, <laughs> there just happens to be one here. Um, beautiful. And, oh, it's gorgeous. And so you might just want to have a little stone. It doesn't have to be a beautiful crystal <laughs> like this. It can be just something that you Pebble. found in the garden, <laughs> something that, that's comfortable and easy to have in your handbag, carry in your pocket. And any time that you notice that you're caught in, a, in an emotion, just use your breath. And then blow that into the stone. And what that does is energetically, it releases the grip or the hold that that emotion that, you, that you're caught in. Wow. And, and immediately an energetic shift occurs in your body. So that could be anything. Say if you were nervous about something or if you had a fight with your partner or something, you could go, this is where I'm feeling in my body and so you just and that's what I love is exercises like that especially with the ancient methodology that you know it's just there's endless amount of stuff that Carrie's doing and you should pop over to her blog if you want to know more of these beautiful little exercises I just want to say that who I am as a person who my business is as an entity you know we've both grown incredibly and my clients are just benefiting uh, amazingly as well. So we're all very, very thankful. Oh, thank mm. you. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with everyone. I really hope this resonates with someone. And please, I, Carrie's got beautiful, beautiful things that she shares with you on video. So pop over and check her out. And if you do want to learn more about how you can also step in and create videos for your business, Come over to Girl Director TV or Girl Director on Facebook or email us at iwantvideos at girldirector.com. No, dot TV. Dot TV. <laughs> dot TV. Dot Damn TV. It. <laughs> Thank you so much for trusting Michael and I with, you know, with where you're going and your direction. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly meant so much to work with somebody that's, I don't know, got the same values and the same, you know, is trusting us with where you want to go and then you just take it on board and you've just flown and it's just, we just, we're so, so inspired by watching you just take this to the new level and, and just love watching your clients too and just the ripple effect that, that you're creating out there. The world needs it.